as a person that constantly strives to improve himself and wants to be as masculine, as strong physically and mentally as possible, I need to have my testosterone levels as high as possible. But because I think steroids and all kinds of supplements are for pussies, pussy cats, censorship. So I thought there must be some ways uh, to improve testosterone naturally, but not only by working out, which is one of the points that I'm going to talk a little bit later, not only by working out, but some other ways as well. And I found out some things that not only keep me sharp, keep me on my A game at all times, and keep my testosterone levels high, uh, what is needed for some, someone that has that fire inside to keep it burning and to keep you motivated and ready for all, all opportunities. Because if you have low testosterone, first off, you don't want to train. Second, you have no fire, no desire to do any activities that are harder than what you normally are used to. And because of that, I'm going to share what I found, what works for me, what I do, one of, some of the things I do every day, some of the things occasionally. So let's get started. Low testosterone means you have uh, men boobs, you have belly fat, uh, you'll be way more unenergetic, lazy, and almost anything that is required uh, for a man to become the best version of himself with low testosterone levels will be close to impossible. Having your testosterone levels high not only improves all the other aspects in fitness and and everything but also gives you the confidence and self-esteem boost that anyone needs to basically be prepared for any situation any circumstances that can come because your testosterone levels are high you're confident you're determined you're sharp and you know that you can deal with everything that comes your way uh, so much so on what testosterone levels give you, the first thing will be half of raw onion a day. Uh, as much as you can do it, the better. So you take one raw onion, you peel it and you just bite. It's not the most pleasing thing, to be honest. I had to drink some water. Eventually you'll get used to it. But uh, we're not pussies around here, so we're going to eat the onion and not complain about it because we know the benefits are more important than how we feel. Our feelings doesn't matter basically, as I said in many other videos. The second thing, what I used to do, is I, as I prepare my shake, I'm here, as I prepare my shake, banana, I put one huge tablespoon even bigger, like this, something like this, okay, of uh, natural honey, which was about to say original, but natural, it's better, honey is one of the best natural products that you can ever eat, <sighs> doesn't go bad, you can eat as much as you want, it's one of the best and my favorite products that came from nature that I try to eat as much as possible. I'm fortunate enough to have someone that gives 
the honey to me right from the beehives directly to the jar and directly to me. But if you can find the closest to natural honey will be perfect for natural testosterone boost. I then add some oatmeal, oats, and one apple. If I have something more to add for protein, I add. If I don't, I do with this. Uh, another thing that I was about to say is you have to eat natural food. What I mean by natural food is natural grass-fed meat that contains a lot of protein, whether it's beef meat uh, or any kind of grass-fed meat, but it has to be natural. It has to be a normal animal that has lived uh, outside, not in some closed uh, farm or whatever, whatever they feed them with biohacking stupid stuff where they pump them like enormous animals uh, just to get more meat out of them. No, normal cow, let's say for example, that has lived its entire life in the field, ate grass, drink water, and that's basically it. So you need to eat natural foods, as, as you see here, but uh, because most of uh, the food that you can get from the grocery shop has a lot of estrogen, the plastic has estrogen and it's the complete opposite uh, of testosterone boost. Yeah, for sure try to eat as clean meat and grass-fed, well uh, looked after meat and animals. And the final point will be cold showers, but not any cold showers, not in the afternoon, not in the middle of the day. No, I'm talking for cold showers in the morning, right? When you get up from bed, you put, uh, you get undressed, you go under the shower and you start washing yourself with the cold water. Look, put it on max cold and you can either go fast or slow. I change them, sometimes I need to go fast, sometimes I need to go slow, but this time we are going fast. Oh, it was cold, but we did it. And you don't have to start with some crazy, like you see all the influencers stay 5 minutes, 30 minutes, 21 years. No, you can start with 30 seconds and you can do from 30 seconds to 2 minutes. It's perfectly fine. The point and the thing we are trying to do here is something that we don't want to do. Something annoying in the morning to just get up and do it. That boosts our, our testosterone and also uh, elevates that this part of our brain that uh, upgrades basically when you really hate to do something and you force yourself to do it. So this was the last point. Uh, other from the honey that is sweet and from the meat, the other things are not very pleasing. But that's the whole point of boosting testosterone, is doing things that uh, normally boost testosterone and also are not uh, enjoyable for you. And this way you boost your testosterone by doing things that are hard. The second last thing will be working out. But there is not much to say about that because working out is the best thing to boost testosterone, confidence and all the things as I mentioned in a previous video, I will leave somewhere here so you can see uh, in the end screen of why 
you wouldn't want to train because of all the benefits, all the pluses that uh, working out has. And another one is boost in testosterone, boost in confidence. And yeah, so working out will be our last thing, but I don't ha think I have much to say about that because in every other video I say that working out is great and for end I just want to say if you uh, are just starting out to work out to improve testosterone to improve confidence to improve uh, diet to improve uh, self-defense capability mindset and everything if you want to get well rounded as I am can do basically everything. I even taught myself to cut my own hair. I became a screenwriter and everything. So if you want to get well-rounded, the well-rounded course is going like a week or so from now. So if you want, I will leave a link in the description. And yeah, go check it out. If you enjoy it, you can buy it if you don't you can always watch all the videos here the content is di distributed in every platform and also via the well-rounded course if you want everything gathered at one place so it's easy for you to find everything you need so see you in the next video